One of the, the most important things has been the quality of staff that's been put into tier two countries, you know. One of the issues of tier two countries is that generally the, the staff in those countries, or the, the, the nation's staff, have only had experience in that country. So they don't have great exposure to international rugby. And I think what's happened is those countries have been able to put in staff that have World Cup experience or international experience, and that's helped improve the preparation of the teams. You've got to be open-minded, I guess, as a coach and, and keep striving to find a way, um, you know, to, to do better. You know, we can't be just sort of stay with how we've been playing and how we, we, we think we should be playing, but also be open-minded to how we could best perform, I guess. One of the differences between tier, tier I suppose, the, the, the teams ranked outside the top ten, really, uh, is, is, is around their strength and conditioning. Um, it's, it's an easy thing to change as well because, again, it's just hard work. But uh, I think, to be honest, now with World Rugby using some, of the, some more professional people and helping Tier 2 nations, I think you can see the level of that rising. And the difference between Georgia 2011 and 2015 uh, was that we were a lot stronger, a lot fitter, and we could compete for a lot longer in a game. And that's not the coach speaking, that's, that's the players themselves who had been at both tournaments said that uh, 2015 uh, they, they had never been in that condition in their life and uh, you know, uh, it's one of the reasons why we were successful during that cup. You go to any country, you know, I've been lucky enough to coach in a number of countries and you've got to understand their culture and particularly their rugby culture. One of the good things we've been able to do is, is get some consistency with our, uh, our technical coaches and, and Alan Muir, he's a scrum coach for New Zealand, has been working with, with Fiji for about two years now and, and Alan has, has really it's been mainly focused with the top group and, and you can really see how, how those players have come on over that time. Oh, Fiji! Fantastic! And the Aussies did not like that. Well, what does that say about Alan Muir, the, the old Wellington coach from New Zealand, and John McKee? Now that our challenge is to, to get that right down through the through the ranks in, in Fiji right down to the you know the schoolboy level and you know on the on the back of the Rugby World Cup where there's a lot of hype around the around the scrum we're really working to develop that to to really create a bit of a scrum culture in Fiji which they've never had before. First and foremost it was trying to develop the Georgian game which was very one-dimensional through their forwards uh, so we needed to try and expand how we played the game because if we were going to uh, sort of pressure uh, tier one teams and be successful at 215 well then we knew we had to play a bit more of an expansive game. Uh, so, you know, we've, we've put that in place and we've been uh, coaching uh, certainly the guys around our, our pressure points of catch pass, uh, doing that well, uh, being, being better at making decisions whilst we're under pressure, better. And also just game understanding, so when to do things, when not to do things. Uh, controlling, controlling basically ourselves when we're on, we're on the pitch, especially when we get under pressure, as I said. And mainly trying to make sure that we can upskill our players so that they compete at a different level, which is very, very important for us. I'm so proud of the players. I'm so proud of the staff. You know, everyone worked together. Yeah, and it shows, shows the value of, of if you've got people working together on the same page, how much you can get a improved performance because if you look at the Japan team we only had one starting super rugby player so to win three games of the World Cup means the team is performing the sum of that team is much greater than the individuals and I think you know there's a great lesson for everyone there.